Hey guys, MTG Noob here, and I am playing a match for 60cards.com with the Delver deck being our opponent. Um, I'm going to play out this Doom Traveler. He did mold a 6, and I kept my hand. Um, it seems really good as long as I don't walk directly into Mana Leak. Okay, so let's see if he blind flips Delver, which won't be terrible, but... Oh, hmm. Well, now you have a Mana Leak. Okay, so what do I want to get Mana Leaked is the question. Assuming he has a second land, which is very likely. No second land, okay. So now I want to resolve, I would assume, Intangible Virtue since we have tokens. Okay, let's bash in. I mean, we could have resolved Honor the Pier there, but I think having these guys vigilant is pretty important in this matchup. Okay, let's see. Maybe it's Vapor Snag. Okay, so we're definitely losing the race here. He's just going to protect that Delver. I need to draw something along the lines of... He can't have Mana Leak here. Uh, after I try this Lingering Souls, which will definitely get countered. Um, there's really nothing else I can put out. Obviously, that's getting countered. That's fine. Okay, we're going to be at 11 and see if he hits another land. Pike. Okay, that's not the worst. Um, he's just going to first strike and kill our guys, but I'm not disappointed in that. Okay, we are going to resolve this. I think at this point, Honor the Pier makes more sense. And flashback this Lingering Souls. The reason being, they're still vigilant, they're still um, three threes, and this way we get our Doom Traveler in for an extra point of damage. If he spends his turn equipping, that's totally fine. He's having some mana troubles, so we gotta keep that in mind. Okay, he's hoping to hit a land here, and he's just probably seeing the worst possible news ever. Okay, if he just equips Pike, we're just going to... Okay, so he does hit the land there, so we got to be careful. We can jump here. Yeah, I think he's just debating if he wants to do that or not. So, let's see. If we hit a land, we could play Lingering Souls. I think I'm going to take the 6 here and just beat. Okay, so I think we're looking pretty good. Yeah, okay. He couldn't beat the 2 instance. Alright, so what do we want against Delver? Well, he did show us Pike. So I think I definitely want this Divine Offering. Um, O-Rings are good purges. Do not come in. Revoke Existence might come in. Um, if we're really worried about Pike. Uh, I think we want to bring in all this removal. So we want to bring in these four removal spells. And uh, Doom Traveler really is not amazing against them. We also want O-Ring. Um, to stay in as two because we want to basically be able to handle um, you know what I probably should have brought in the stony silence as well I'm gonna keep this because it has a turn one dismember on his delver which is very good for us kind of play out our planes because we want to 
also try to kill a turn two Delver. I'm sure he's gonna like ponder or probe us. He takes two, he sees it's not safe in the waters. Um, like I said, we're gonna play this out and then try to resolve this or this. You always want to put more pressure on. Okay, now there's nothing he could really do but try to bait this out of me here. He's accepted that it's really a good idea on his part. He gets a token out of the deal eventually and it nets him for life. Now he might go Geist of St. Traft here and we might go like, oh crap. Okay, Thought Scours himself and he hits land land and draws a card. Okay, now the options are put pressure on him or hit. I think I'm going to actually put pressure on him here. And just beat in for two. Sweet beats. We'll be at 16 apiece and he just really needs mana. I mean it's kind of bad for him that he binned two lands there, but he's under enormous amount of pressure here. If we hit land and we go like land flashback or double, like this is problematic. We can just pretty much O ring this now. We can play honor, but honor doesn't really do much. We have to think this turn out. <clears throat> we really wanted to hit a land there. I think I'm just gonna beat in the air and resolve another lingering souls here. The one in hand. He did stop our ground game, but putting four power in the air and two in the graveyard making it cheaper to cost is pretty hard to come back from. Okay, Pike plus probably Vapor Snag. Not hitting a land here. I still think we go intangible virtue. Okay, that's fine. Okay, still fine. And we're gonna beat in here even though we're gonna lose a token. Put him in a six. And then this way we have lethal on board, but obviously he's got Midnight Haunting. If he wants to go equip here, that's fine. He's trying to win the race, but the race is not going to be won by him hitting us with a Blade Splicer. I'm going to take this because we have a lot of ways we could win if we draw a land we go like lingering souls lingering souls honor the pure lingering souls I mean there's so many options so that was a game against Delver um, remember that we did win but we could have played a little bit more optimally I felt and I also felt that he had kind of bad luck, so we'll take this win with a grain of salt, but we're happy to win a game with the budget tokens deck. I think, in my opinion, and from what I've heard, that tokens is a good matchup against Delver, so definitely sweet. As you could see, he wasn't able to really handle our resolved threats in the air and things of that nature. Okay, so thanks for watching. This has been the MTG Noob for 60cards.com, and please check out our site, themtgnoob.com, as well. Thank you.